Those coloring books laying around your house from your kids or other family members can carry some value. Some of them can sell for hundreds of dollars if you know which ones to look for. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at coloring books, some of the most valuable color books out there on the globe right this very second. Some of these are selling for hundreds of dollars. You're not going to make a fortune off coloring books, but there's some really good money to be made if you know which ones to look for. Today we're going to show you the top 20 that are selling right now for the most money. Now, just like any other item out there, coloring books have to be unique, special, something different about them to attract enough attention for them to be worth hundreds of dollars, like this one here. Now, this one's tied to the Timothy Leary LSD psychedelic movement, which is gaining ground right this very minute. This is one of those very scarce ones made in a very limited run. It wasn't something mass produced, probably in California. It's the alternative culture as well, so it's something fairly unique. The artwork's different, the style is different, and this is a Timothy Leary licensed product as well, $237 plus. Now, most of the modern day artists out there did create coloring books. This is a Keith Herring, and this one went for 180 bucks, basically. Now, his work does sell for some phenomenal money, so anything tied to artists, modern-day ones like this, will carry a decent value. So this is like almost the dawning of adult coloring books, because these were honestly made for adults. This was a collector's piece. Now, sometimes a coloring book can be worth some money because of who actually printed it, as well as the topic of it. Now, Alvin and the Chipmunks are a collected field. But this is also by Landalls, which is a company that's highly collected for some of these forms of books. It's the only one that would have licensed products and some of these types of things from this era. It's an interesting one as well. So you can see it sold for 150 bucks. And yet another one from the same company, Landalls, same topic, Alvin and the Chipmunks. This is them taking off on most of the fairy tales, Cinderella as well, 120 bucks for this one. Now here's one of the most sought after Christmas ones out there, and this is by Hallmark, and this is a pop-up book as well as having coloring book sections inside of it also. This one is always sought after, 120, 140 bucks is about top end for these. These will sell sealed new NOS, or used also. So as long as it's complete all there untouched, it will get you 75 to 100 bucks. Now here is another one by a well-known modern day artist, Walter Mosley. This one is Alien Scribbles. It's called Alien Script Coloring Book. Rather interesting. This is one of those low run ones as well. Sometimes the artists made coloring books for an exhibition that they had. So there may only have been a few hundred, maybe a couple thousand printed of some of these sorts. Now, in some cases, there are coloring books tied to sci-fi novels, graphic novels, and the likes. Fantasy in general. They're usually limited run like this one here, A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is one of those that seldom shows up, but you may have it sitting around and not even realize it's a coloring book just because of the topic and the cover itself. And as you can see, it went for 150 bucks. Here's yet another interesting one. This one's from 1984, the first AI coloring book. It's uh, adapt to artificial intelligence. It's unique, kind of oddball, interesting, unique designs, I guess you'd say. This one went for over 100 bucks. It's a hard cover with the dust jacket also. Now, just like the last one, this one can be a little confusing and many people may not realize it's actually a coloring book. Some of these books are hardbound, as we showed you. Most people would get that confused with just a regular book and may pass these by, but there are many of these sorts. These, again, would be considered adult coloring books. This one went for almost $100. Now, this next one is from Advanced Dungeons & Dragons, TSR product here. Now, this one is not a standardized coloring book. The size, what's shown here, is a little deceiving. This is very large. It's a large folio-sized edition here with very large pages to color, almost a small poster size. You can't miss it when you see this one. This one routinely goes for at least 75 to 125 bucks. Now, a whole nother niche inside of coloring books are ones of famous people, ones of movie stars, actresses, actors, 
I Love Lucy is in this lot. That's probably one of the best ones in here. Seldom shows up. Doris Day, obviously. It's a nice mix of early coloring books. They will always sell. 25 30 bucks for most of them on their own. Or you can blow them out and sell them for 100 bucks. All is a lot, plus shipping. Now, coloring books have been around for a very long time. This is a Tarzan two-color, again, coloring book from 1933. Southfield Publishing Company, this is one of their lines of books. You can tell by the number that this is well into their runs. This is number 988 out of their series. There's hundreds of coloring books from this time. Most of them aren't in the greatest condition like this one here, but they still will get you some pretty darn good money. It's missing some of the cover. It's rough. The cover is not there. It's got chunks missing out of it. Look at the condition. Just because of what it's for, it's Tarzan of the Apes, it will still carry a value, even falling apart like you see this one here. They don't show up. That's why it carries a value. Most people may have assumed this one's far too gone to even worry about trying to sell, but the value is still there. Now, here is a massively sought after one that went for just under a hundred bucks. This is probably my favorite game of the 80s, Dragon's Lair. It was the first uh, laser disc version of a game that I remember ever playing. It cost twice what a normal game cost back in the 80s. It was 50 cents as opposed to a quarter. And you only played for a few moments if you didn't get the gist of how the game worked. Anything tied to Dragon's Lair right now is doing fairly well. Obviously, it's been re-released on DVD, CD-ROMs, all different versions. You can get an online version of this right now to play. This is just one of the many coloring books that they made for this. There's a secondary line that was made right after this. I believe maybe this is a Don Booth tie-in, if I'm not mistaken. But either way, it's an excellent one here. Any of these sorts, I would nab up for sure. When you look on the back, it even lists multiple other coloring books that you may find out there as well. And here is one of those same ones that was mentioned on the back of the other one. Now, some of these are a mixture of coloring and stickers. Some may have paint and stickers, paint and coloring. You've just got to pay attention to what you actually have. But most of these, if it says coloring on the top, will get you some good money. Tied to Marvel. So again, Marvel Comics back down to DC. So this is an interesting one as well. Almost $100. Now here's yet another well-known artist, Andy Warhol. And this is from 1999. It's oddball, interesting artwork from him, as you can see in here. And this one sold for over 70 bucks. Now one of the fastest growing collectible animated series from the 90s is the Batman animated series. Most all of the collectibles tied to it, the action figures, the games, the books, the sorts like this coloring book here are highly collected. It's one of the better series. The voices were done very well. This one sold, as you can see here, for almost 90 bucks plus shipping. It's not that old either. There's still some of these out there in clearance sections in some little five and dime or in your house that can still show up. Now, most television related ones, cartoon related ones, pre 1990 ish and before will sell for some decent money here's a lot of rainbow bright ones seven rainbow bright coloring books 130 bucks on this lot here now obviously they could sell individually also 20 or 30 bucks at average for most of the individual ones from most television or tv series from the 90s 80s 70s and before now one last reminder on this specific niche is adult coloring books are hot right now all different topics of them can sell for some phenomenal money. Large chunk of them are hard covered as well to appeal to an adult. Most adults aren't going to want a soft cover book to color in that looks like a child's book. So there are some very unique ones here. Most of them, as you see, can sell extremely well. So it's a huge area. There's tons of them out there. A lot of people miss this niche area inside of coloring books itself. So who knows, you may have some of these books in your house right now sitting in a closet under a bed in a box in the attic or something. These books still do show up. Some of these are new, very new, just published in the last few years. So it may have been received as a gift. It may have been something you purchased and just never used. 
even if some of these are colored in, they can still sell for decent money, even hundreds of dollars if you get the right one. But if you're not looking for them, you won't find them. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Find the mummy. Don't worry, the mummy will find you.